Every genuine work of art has as much reason for being as the Earth and the Sun. Welcome back, everybody, to Civilization Five. With me, Civil Onion Ungravy Sixty Four, or Daniel, based upon how you know me. I've skipped ahead a couple of turns because all I have done is annex cities, and I didn't think you'd want to see me doing lots of citizen management. That would be quite boring. It does explain why the happiness is so much lower, though. In the last batch of videos, we were at war with the U.S. We're not anymore, but we did realise very quickly that going to war with them is probably not going to be the best way to win this game. Rather, winning scientifically is going to be the way to go because we have so much land and so much science production potential as a result. We just built the Louvre, which means we have access to um, to great artists. And because we're not going culturally, the best thing to do, put them both into a Golden Age, and our Golden Age is now going to last 48 turns. So, that is delicious. We also got the Angkor Wat, but that's not particularly interesting. <laughs> It's not a very good wonder, I just built it for the sake of building it more than anything else. So, what can we do right now? Well, we're going to build a barracks and start building some military units to protect us from being attacked by Washington again. He is plotting on somebody, we just don't know who. We doubt it is I, simply because we have only just stopped being at war, and they generally tend to take a few turns at the very least before they start plotting on you again. Not always, but usually. Most of our cities desire ivory, but unfortunately only uh, Mr. Washington has access to that. And let's be honest, I'm not getting into a fight with him over trying to get a resource, because he'll rip us off in the process. So what we're prioritising at the moment is going the science route, and from there, we'll try and improve everything with Railroad, and build enough of an army to protect us. Put that in the city. Uh, we'll build... Oh, we'll build a windmill. I can't believe we didn't have one in Adrianople, considering it's my second best city, I would argue. You could argue Varna's pretty good, you can argue Nicaea's pretty good, and um, Nicomedia's pretty good as well, in fact. It's actually nearly finished building the... Uh, Statue of Liberty, which is a very nice wonder to have, in fact. Especially in cities with massive populations. But now, as the next turn comes by, we're going to have plastics. And this is a great technology if you're going for a science victory. And it's also very good if you want military Man, protection, because infantry has a strength of 70, which is a 20 improvement over its obs now obsolete unit, the Great War Infantry. So what we want to do is go to rocketry as quickly as we can, because we need the Apollo project in order to start winning the game through science. Uh, we are building the Circus Maximus in Constantinople, and then we'll build a research lab. And everything's going to be awful spiffy. We will upgrade, I believe, our Great War Infantry in a couple of turns once we've got a bit more money, because I want to do it all at once if physically possible. It's tempting to go and buy, uh, build the Pentagon to make this cheaper, but it's not that important. My concern is that the second American unique unit is a replacement for the bomber. So if he does declare on me again, it's going to be quite a challenge to deflect him. Which is why I am going to try and put fighters in quite a few of my cities as protection. Spain is still on the Tercio, or the Turkio. I think it's a Tercio, which is basically a uh, musket replacement. Spain is very powerful in mid-game, because both of their unique units are just in the gap between Medieval and the Renaissance era, so they can become very strong very quickly. But we don't have to worry about that. Oh, an enemy has been spotted in your territory. And there's the Statue of Liberty. All specialists get an extra hammer, so that's pretty good, really. Wow, I can't believe that's a barbarian privateer. That's a rarity. Normally they don't get that strong. Right, so now we're going to go on the research lab binge. Uh, did we actually build the... Uh... Yeah, we must have done all the cities that I annexed. Must have had it. Had a Colosseum, so that's pretty convenient. We could get the Cristo Redentor, but it's not hugely useful for me. I'd rather get a research lab. It makes pulses cheaper, that wonder, but I'm not going for a culture victory, that is for sure. What I can do, though, does anybody have any money? Um, unfortunately, only uh, Washington does. 
Saludos. Will you buy Continua. a couple of coal off me? Espero que este trato uh, how much more money do you have? Is that how much you have? Espero que este trato oh well, they'll give me a reasonable amount for it considering. Okay, we'll take that. It's not a huge amount, but every little helps. So, let's go to our unit list. And we want to improve all our Great War Infantry. We've got a lot of them. How much is it going to cost a piece? 340 isn't too bad compared to what it can be. It can be a lot more than that. So let's spam the letter U key. Uh, you must be in friendly territory. Let's do that now then. Uh, where's that? Move that to uh, here and I'll have to do that next turn presumably. Why can't I move across there? Oh, because it's the American territory. Dirt! It's too similar looking and I got confused. Uh, we can't improve anything else, can we? I don't think we can. No. Okay. That is perfectly acceptable then. Oh dear, they're both blue and I got confused. <laughs> Luckily though, I did not hit myself in confusion. We really do have a lot of cities. That can be a bit of a liability. Oh, we'd never improve that rifle. Okay, I'll improve that as well. Oh, there's a couple of rifles down here, in fact. Um, right, we're going to have to improve quite a lot of different units by the looks of it. Fortify, improve and upgrade. Fortify, fortify. So apparently we have a lot of units to upgrade. Improve that rifle, improve that rifle, improve that pike. Uh, we can't improve lancers yet, to my knowledge. So we don't have to worry about that. Population point for Seville. Not particularly interested by that fact, to be honest. So, are there any other cities that we would probably want to annex while I'm at it? I mean, I could annex Brantford. Um, actually, that might be a good idea. Okay, we'll do that. Annex, please. We don't need an amphitheater. We need a courthouse. Um, that's a nice tile, that's a nice tile, that's a nice tile. We've got a few nice tiles going on here. Get it on the aluminium, that's a nice, nice piece of tile. Okay. Put that one wherever it wants for now. Once they improve that tile that was pillaged, it'll go back to being a lovely jubbly again. And it only takes nine turns for that courthouse, so that's definitely good. The Golden Age will obviously help with the building of quick courthouses, which is why I'm doing it now. Because Golden Ages increase your production by a fifth, I believe. And getting a railway from your capital to a city also improves its production by 20%, so very much worth doing. Um, right, okay, that's all that I can improve on this turn. We have a courthouse, so you're going to... Uh, We'll build a library first and then we'll go after a workshop just to try and get the science up a bit. Brussels was attacked by the USA. Where is said city-state? Oh, it's down there. Well, you're screwed. Please tell me I'm not pledging to protect them. No, I'm not. Good. Good job past me. Fortify those, please. Thank you kindly. Now we've got a windmill, we're going to go for a research lab, it only takes the 12 turns, which considering how big a building it is, is very impressive. It takes longer than the capital, no less. Albeit that is because one guy is busy being a um, university grad. Do we need to move these tiles round? Um, yes, we don't need to use that anymore, that's a rubbish tile. We will put it there and sacrifice gold for food, because we are earning more gold than cents. The US has denounced us, but doesn't really matter, to be honest. As soon as we have research labs, all we're going to do is then start spamming aerial units to protect us. Seeking a great engineer, good. You're seeking arguably the best... Um, great person. Arguably, it's not necessarily the case. Um, we'll get a university in Cahokia. Blah, we want to improve our production, so we will do, we will do that. 
Although there's a um, horse tile there, that might be quite nice. We'll work that instead. Because that has a nice three hammer, three food. That's a really nice and balanced tile. And like I said, we're earning more money than is ever going to be required. So we definitely don't have to worry about that. Bustles requires units. I bet you do. Because you're going to get squashed. Absolutely destroyed. We still don't know for certain how much land the US has. But by the looks of it, we've now seen a shoreline. So... Not too worried. I am tempted to get a naval unit, but there's really no point because by the time I see what I want to see, we'll get to satellites and therefore it'll be completely null and void. So I'm just not going to bother, I don't think. Still, I'm still thinking, should I put a city up here to the east of Varna? But right now I don't really need to do that either. Although my happiness is up. Maybe I should do it now. We'll do it now. Uh, we don't need to build it there. We need to put, build it nice here. Get a settler. The game is advising we put it there. That's not a bad place to put it. Arguably it might be the best place to put it. Well, game, we think you're right this once. So we will take that. And what we're going to build now, we have a courthouse. We're going to get the library. Salamanca has a population of five. Don't care too much, because that's a bit of a nothing city. Uh, we are going to go after a research lab in Trebizond. We're going to go after a research lab in Onondaga, which I believe has quite a few wonders in it. Let's have a look. It's, yeah, it's got three. It's got the Forbidden Palace, the Hagia Sophia, and the porcelain tower. I like the porcelain tower, it has to be said, but not particularly useful when it isn't me that builds it, because obviously the great scientist couldn't use it. And by the looks of it, he used it on researching tech quicker rather than on a select tile. Does any city state have ivory? Seriously. Uh, no. No. Uh, nope. Nope. Nada. Come on, surely one of them has got to have ivory. Really? Uh, my luck is out. Damn it. Although, um, Almaty would be fair. Where is Almaty on the map? Okay, I can befriend him. That's perfectly fine, because by the looks of it, uh, their religion should spread. Uh, my religion should spread eventually. But it might take a bit of an effort right now, it has to be said. How long is it going to be till I get a great um, profit? Religion overview. Oh, 3600, that's an absolute bomb. What a rip-off, but we're going to get there pretty soon, so we will spread that to that uh, city-state. We have a lot of spreading that is required, simply because Spain has its own religion, and as a result has infected most of this land. Obviously, Hiawatha had his own religion, so most of this area believes in him. So, we're going to have to just work steadily on that. We can't convert Washington cities, because he will get pissy at us. So we're just going to have to fight that one. Uh, they've got a library. We'll quickly build a workshop to build other things more quickly. Austin Inc. is quite weak to being attacked by the looks of it. So we'll have to be a little bit careful. And we're going to have a little bit of lag there. Warsaw longs for culture. Not bothered. It's only a cultural city-state. So not gaining a whole lot by being friends with it right now. Anyway... We have the Eiffel Tower, which is all about the happiness. So, our happiness has now got to 26, which is lovely jubbly. Get a research lab in Antioch. And we're a long way into uh, researching electronics, which ironically doesn't actually give you anything to do with electricity. <laughs> it gives you two types of ship. So, the state of play is looking pretty good for us, all things considered. 
I'm going to probably, if I do a second LP of this, do a slightly smaller map to try and show you a more aggressive route. Not necessarily the case, because you shouldn't preempt what you're going to do too much, because it all depends on context and circumstance, but I'd like to be a little more aggressive than I have been in this game, if only to make it a bit quicker and a bit easier. <laughs> All things considered though, considering how we've been attacked pretty much constantly throughout this map, we're doing pretty well. Our religion is still very strong in the US. Shame in the deep south of the US, they're rebelling against the uh, religion that they want and they're doing their own thing. You could argue it's just like real life, but I wouldn't go there, that's way too dangerous a satire. So... I might just buy a couple of things to get this city going more quickly. We'll buy that. We'll buy that. Uh, we'll buy that and leave it at that. We don't want to spend too much money. Because uh, that city initially is pretty poo. But at least now, once its population grows, I don't have to worry about building scientific buildings constantly. It'll just do it. And I'll have them ready built. Uh, get a factory in there. Still can't believe I lost off it the first time. It's pretty embarrassing, all things considered. Oh no, we're no longer the ally of Warsaw. Oh, how concerned I am. Nah! So... Our capital city is not as big as I thought it would have been. Population 14 is pretty, pretty measly by this stage. It's not shockingly bad, but it's not exactly pushing the boat out. But then again, we are next to Tundra, so... It would be unfair of me to expect too much from it. At least we're on a river. That's There's always nice. Oh, we can't steal from the US anymore. It gets more powerful all the time. That's a very good it's quote, by the way. It's one of my favourite quotes. Electronics get cheaper and more powerful all of the time. Which is how I am able to show you this LP without my laptop dry heaving. Albeit it did blue screen beforehand like I mentioned. Hooray!